From the outside, it's hard to imagine the sheer number of corpses held up inside the Kolebu Teaching Hospital mortuary. But as one draws closer, reality begins to dawn. A pungent and heady smell. Yet, these mortuary attendants are busy at work, having become immune over the years. Their job is a difficult and life-threatening one. Any little mistake here, and one is bound to contract infections from dead bodies. This is how always we go about this has also been worsened by poor working conditions. Due to the lack of space, dead bodies lie on the dirty bare floor with flies hovering around them. This dead baby with flies almost entering his mouth and nose left tears in my eyes. Water droplets from dead bodies are stuck on the floor and cannot flow freely due to the terrible nature of the facility. These channels in the morgue, which are to allow the free flow of dirty water, are heavily choked with filth, which breeds maggots. You are in here, but you are in here, you are in here, you are in trouble. And it is like this, and they brought you. And we are coming to do autopsy. We have to dissect mm -hmm. before the pathology will come in. Yes. And bring out yes. autopsy before the pathology will come in. After that, yes. we have to stitch and come in and bang. In one of the storage rooms, there is a serious congestion, initially built to accommodate a few dozens of dead bodies, now loaded with hundreds of dead bodies. This is one of the biggest storage rooms here at the Kolebu Mortuary where a number of bodies are preserved from babies, elderly, middle-aged, everyone is being kept in here for some time before their family members finally come for the bodies. Now, because most of them delay in coming for their bodies, some of the bodies, as you can rightly see here, are deteriorating. They are rotting away. And these mortuary workers will have to face all these challenges as they continue to work here at the college.